let's begin by talking about trends. Main, four main areas where trends come from. One is technologies. We think about that a lot. We all carry our smartphones. There's other kinds of technologies that we also find useful or interesting, including different kinds of pharmaceuticals. We sometimes think only of information technology, but there's pharmaceuticals. There's also alternative energy sources, various kinds of technology. You also have situations where the economics and the political environment changes. If you have a downturn, you might have certain situations uh, where people are looking for short-term assignments or whatever. And if you have a, an app that helps people with uh, do work on the side, that sort of thing. It might be a type of business you could do during a particular down, downturn. You also have social demographic changes, which we uh, talked about briefly before, where perhaps you have an aging population on the one hand, plus you have Gen Zers that are, right, are growing up, entering into the workforce along with millennials. There's new kinds of products or services that you might, that those people might want as they start a new phase of their life, for example. And then market changes, just the, the way that what people buy, the kind of music they listen to. Even now, with the with, when situations occur, for example, with, um, with the women's soccer team winning the World Cup, there might be a, an opportunity for new kinds of clothing or different kinds of uh, sporting goods that are sold to women that might otherwise have not been, had such a large demand. Those kinds of things, all trends that are in a macro in nature that can help identify where there might be an opportunity for someone to start to build a business. So let's take a look at technological change. Uh, this is a map, you don't have to read the details, but it's a map of what's called Moore's Law, which started around the 1970s with the invention of the microprocessor. And the years are along the uh, horizontal axis at the bottom. And the number of transistors that are available in a given chip has been increasing about doubling every uh, 20 months or so. And these are some of the names of the processors. But that amount of processing power has caused uh, opportunities for tremendous numbers of new businesses and an entirely an entire new industries to develop. People can do things in more productive ways. That's why we have the iPhones. Um, that's why we have uh, the, the kind of internet technologies and the fast interactions that we're uh, pretty much uh, unheard of or undreamed of as late as 50 years ago. Uh, this, this creates this environment where new, uh, new businesses crop up, pop up all of the time within technology. And this is, is forecast perhaps not to continue at this rate since it's gone so far, but to continue um, and into the future. This is one type of technology. There are other types of technology in pharmaceuticals, um, you know, with various kinds of uh, of genetically engineered organisms and plants and that sort of thing for farming. There's technologies all over the place that all create opportunities for new businesses to develop. Here's just some uh, uh, industries that have developed over the last uh, 30, 40 years that have all come from technologies that have just skyrocketed in terms of their power. Computer, as you mentioned, biotechnology, but digital photography and how photos are being made and animations and videos, um, alternative energies, technologies, ride and lodging sharing. All these are called asset sharing apps, they have, having the scooters around the city, those sorts of things. A tremendous number of uh, technological advances that are creating opportunities all the time. Another source of opportunities is the general economy. Um, we're kind of used to a steadily growing economy, 2 to 3%, uh, which has been going on for the last 10 years. That in and of itself gives us sort of a sense of stability. But at the same time, that could change. We could get into a recession where people start perhaps being laid off. Um, maybe things get a little tighter in terms of spending money. Create some opportunities for people to have uh, like pay, uh, payday loans and that sort of thing or other kinds of businesses like being able to try and find a the cheapest place to buy gas or the cheapest place to find various kinds of commodities is an example is uh, gas buddy. The point is, as the economy changes or as government and policy change, as we'll talk about in a minute, those all lead to opportunities as well. 
think, for example, about political uh, changes. Uh, there's still controversy about the Affordable Care Act. When it was passed, there was opportunities for various organizations that had to comply with the law and the regulations to set up portals for people's information that all created new businesses. Um, likewise, if uh, that if these if the um, healthcare system changes and it's likely to change in any directions at any time, um, there's going to be opportunities in that sector. Beyond political and economic opportunities or changes, there's things that happen in the social environment, demographic changes, uh, the way people live, what they want to buy, uh, what, what they consider to be leisure time, whether or not they're interested in buying houses or renting, those kinds of things change. We have an aging population of baby boomers. There's a whole industries can be built around them. Increasing diversity in the population with immigration in various areas um, of, the, of the state or the country that uh, get consolidation of a certain, you know, certain people with certain ethnic backgrounds that leads room to restaurants or, or stores that cater to, the, to that sort of uh, background and historical culture. Um, you also have the younger people entering the market with an entirely different experience of what it's like to work with technology, what it's like to have entertainment on subscription, those kinds of things that might be, that might change the needs people have while they're working or whatever they're on their uh, various things they might do for leisure. These, the mobile devices all around us. And of course, uh, focus on health and wellness, uh, the whole green movement, both in terms of uh, planetary issues, but also green in terms of a healthier lifestyle um, and wanting to have more of a circular economy. Uh, social demographic changes drive significant opportunities, just like uh, economic and demographic changes, or it to be economic and political changes, or um, the technologies that all interrelate to these kinds of changes in social um, and demographics.